are some machines which use natural resources like fuels to produce power. There are some machines which use this power to produce other machines. There are machines which produce gadgets which we use in our everyday life by creating, designing, manufacturing and operating various types of machines. Mechanical engineers, like all engineers, provide us good, comfortable life. Mechanical engineers are expected to design power generation units such as automobile engines and turbines. And they are expected to design mechanisms that transfer the motion and the power from the place where it is generated to the place where it is needed. For example, in automobiles, from the engine to the wheels. They are also expected to manufacture these. So they are expected to design forging presses, other manufacturing process like casting for metals as well as plastics because all types of materials are being used in engineering nowadays. Increasingly so, mechanical engineers are having to deal with systems which typically are not considered uh, under the purview of mechanical engineering. For example, today's automobiles utilize a huge amount of electronic controls and the algorithms that run these controls are driven by understanding of the behavior of mechanical systems. With technology advancing and integration of various engineering fields, mechanical engineers work with robotics and making devices at the micro and nano scales. These are so-called MEMS or microelectromechanical devices. Mechanical engineers are increasingly getting into biomedical engineering, especially medical device innovation. In our lab, we get doctors from various hospitals who come to us with unmet clinical requirements. We put groups of researchers from multiple disciplines like mechanical, materials, electrical, electronics, computer science, uh, software, industrial design to solve the problem. In the last two years, we have developed almost 140 different medical devices, filed about 25 patents, and about nine or 10 of these are already in hospitals or in industrial practice through startups or entrepreneurs. Mechanical engineers are working with complex biological systems such as biomechanics, bone replacements, blood flow, and effect of radiation on human tissues. We in the Department of Mechanical Engineering have a group working on advanced manufacturing. As a part of that, we have a center known as National Center for Aerospace Innovation Research, working for developing aerospace technologies in the area of manufacturing. Currently, India is undergoing a phenomenal transformation. We feel that our technologies and our innovations will play a major role in developing the economy for the country. The primary focus of our work is development of the next generation of propellants. We have chosen the cage hydrocarbon family from where we choose these compounds. They can serve as fuels, as oxidizers, as binders for solid propellants, any role. For fuels, we are trying to put them inside a gas liquid rocket chamber and burn them out so that we figure out what is the thrust, what is the specific impulse and how good that propellant is. Traditional topics of heat transfer and fluid flow are seeing investigation of complex flows in rarefied gases, visualization of flow using optical techniques, study of two-phase flow and cooling in nuclear industry as well as one of the most challenging heat evacuation problems of today that is heat removal from computer chipsets. The quest to achieve lower and lower temperatures or leads mechanical engineers to the field of cryogenics that is extremely important in space and fusion based applications. Machining is getting more and more complex and engineers are working in precision and micro manufacturing areas as well as machining of complex alloys. Complex parts are being made using powder metallurgy and 3D printing. Finally, in the modern world, Engineers are driven to develop and test newer materials with complex properties. And here, mechanical engineers work at the bridge between mechanical engineering, material science and physics. We are still making machines, but they are getting more and more complex. We are still removing heat from devices, but these may be at the micro and nano scales. We are still reducing friction in fluids and in complex machine parts. And we are dealing with devices that were unthinkable even a decade ago. And all this to improve machine productivity as well as human productivity.